Get ready to dive into the wild world of the NFL's worst defenses so far in 2024, where quarterbacks go to pad their stats and fans go to cry. Buckle up, because it's going to be a fast adventure with all the stats that will make you question these teams' defensive strategies. Starting off with number 28, the Indianapolis Colts. Now, I know what you're thinking, but they only allow 63 rushing yards in week three. Sure, but let's not crown them just yet. This is the same defense that's been giving up 200 rushing yards like it's a weekly subscription box. Steelers are coming in hot next week, and if history repeats itself, Indy might want to invest in some run-stopping drills, or at least some more tissues for the tears. At 29, it's the Cincinnati Bengals. Remember when their defense was feared? Yeah, neither do they. Jaden Daniels looked like he was doing seven on seven drills out there. Two incompletions and two interceptions. That's just rude. And what's worse, they just let Jesse Bates walk to Atlanta and he's out there thriving. Can someone please send the Bengals a get well soon card? They need it. Coming in at 30, we've got the Washington Commanders. Now, Monday Night Football, more like Monday Night Fumble for these guys. Chase Brown and Zach Moss had a field day, and I think their secondary is actually allergic to covering wide receivers. It's like they took a break during their every passing play. Honestly, thank God they have a decent quarterback now because the defense, oof. And at 31, it's the Los Angeles Rams. Here's a fun stat. They gave up 425 yards to the Niners without McCaffrey, Debo, or Ayuk. How do you give up 6.5 yards per play to backups? This defense is like a paper towel trying to stop a flood. Even if the secondary gets healthy, I'd still take my chances throwing on them with a blindfold. And the worst defense in the NFL through three weeks of the 2024 season, we have the Carolina Panthers. Now, they might have been distracted by their offense actually doing something in week three, but nothing, and I mean nothing, can cover up the horror show happening on the other side of the ball. 8.3% pressure rate? That's like trying to stop a runaway bus with a pool noodle. Even the second worst team is nearly doubling that. Panthers, we know Derek Brown is your guy, but come on, this is bad. And that's your weekly top tour of the NFL's worst defenses. Tune in next week to see if anyone can break out of this bottom tier disaster or if we'll just keep handing out participation trophies. Until then, keep praying for your favorite team's defense, if they even have one.